All right, we're going down here to check on this dock. Somebody says they caught a turtle. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, they were fishing. I suspect it's going to be a diamondback terrapin, but I'll let you know in just a minute. So it is a diamondback terrapin. It's got a fishing hook stuck in his mouth. Can you see the line sticking out? So we're gonna have to uh, <laughs> try to figure out how we're gonna get this hook out. I've got a few people I can call. Uh, other than that, I'm just gonna kind of keep him in a box with some water and hopefully he'll be fine overnight if nobody can get to him. But he's a pretty cool turtle. All right, so this is our pretty boy uh, terrapin guy. I think it's female actually. Man, that shell is just beautiful. We're gonna put her into this box with a little bit of water in it. And hopefully uh, I can get in touch with somebody who can do a little surgery on her. All right, here you go. As darkness fell, I reached out to different organizations for help. So we got some really good news last night. Somebody contacted me and they are able to maybe even perform some surgery on the Diamondback Terrapin. So that's super news. Last night it spent uh, the whole night in this box with a little bit of rainwater and it seems to be just fine. They say they want me to transfer it to a, a cardboard box. Put it in shade here. Turtle in downtown Charleston. Actually a terrapin. Totally forgot my mask. Oh well. Maybe they'll give me one. The terrapin has arrived at the security office. So I handed her over to the veterinarian team at the South Carolina Aquarium in Charleston. But it wasn't long before I received this x-ray of the turtle and the hook. The staff named her Mariah Carey. As her wound healed, she needed time to get back on her claws. Soon they notified me that she was eating, and that was a great sign. And then it was time to pick her up. All right, to date. So we are heading down to downtown Charleston to pick up Mariah Carey, the Diamondback Terrapin. That's the name they gave her because she's so beautiful. She really is one of the most beautiful turtles I've ever seen. I won't take a good look at her when we get her back, but she's been down there for two months recovering from her surgery where she had to have the hook removed. So not only is she going to come home uh, with me this morning, but she's uh, going to go back to her marsh where she lives. Diamondback terrapins are one of the few turtles that actually live in salt water and in fresh water their entire lives. I was reading about them this morning and they have something called site fidelity, which means they're faithful to one area. And that one area is the marsh where she came from, where she was hooked up by a fisherman. And I want to talk a little bit about that whole fishing thing. Turtles are different from fish. They don't grab the bait and run off with it. Turtles sit there and chew and chew and chew and chew and for that bait to be hooked so deeply into its throat tells me that the person who was fishing wasn't really paying attention to her line. There's no reason for that turtle just to, to gnaw away at that, that hook to go so deeply down into its throat. Good morning, can I help you? Yeah, I'm here to see uh, 
to get a turtle. So we're heading to the loading dock of the South Carolina Aquarium to pick up the turtle. Terrapin. It's kind of cool as I'm turning around. I see they actually have a whole van dedicated to uh, sea turtle care. Pretty neat. Well, there she is in her box. We're getting ready to leave and head back to James Island. She looks kind of grumpy. How's the little turtle doing, Terrapin? She's doing fine. Look at she's so pretty. Look at that. I know. She's smiling. Her eyes match her skin. It's so cool. Got Mariah Carey here. This is take two. I'm not gonna lie, take one was a disaster. Here's some highlights or low lights of it. We're gonna put Mariah Carey into this bucket and then we're gonna lower her over the edge to the marsh where she can escape. All right. Yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, well, we might need, just need to come down here when it's high tide. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. You can pull the bucket up too. Okay. It just stinks down here. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we are going to put Miss Mariah Carey on this tray right here and in theory, lower her down into the water. Now stop the music. This contraption worked just fine at home. All right, come on now. She's wanting to go. Where are you doing? Is running? Okay, she won't be fine. So that's it. Mariah Carey returned to her favorite marsh. I'm not gonna lie, that pluff mud was the worst smelling pluff mud I've been around in my entire life. I grew up with it and it was just rancid. So I'm glad we didn't leave her down there when it was low tide. <laughs>